What's up, Ted Warriors? I know that most of the people watching this videos are people that are uh, affected by Ted. So uh, I appreciate you guys giving me feedback and I guess getting feedback from me. So here we go. So it's been about two weeks and it's really probably the worst two weeks since I got Ted, which is really unfortunate because I actually thought that uh, this thing wasn't going to be too bad for me, but it's getting pretty bad. Um, this eye's pushed way out. It used, it actually today, it's kind of weird because this eye's starting to, um, both my eyes are involved now. I've always been very appreciative that it's only been one eye, but now my left eye's going too. Um, so I can tell that this one's kind of like bulging out and which when this one bulges out, then this one doesn't look as bad, but yeah, it's not good either. It's not good. But so, uh, you know, for the last two weeks since I did that last video, I've been trying to get to the um, doctor and, you know, I've been telling them, please just let me come in. I'll, you know, I'll come in anytime. If you get any appointment, I'll come in and, you know, for two weeks, nothing. So I finally got my appointment. Yes. No, Thursday. Today's Saturday. I went in on Thursday and basically, you know, I I told the doctor, you know, my left eye is involved, double vision all over the place. It's just terrible. And he looked at me and he goes, yeah, you look terrible. You know, uh, your eye, left eye looks bad. And then he started doing the test on me, the, um, the, you know, put the drops in the eyes and did the pressure test. The pressure, this eye was up to 40 and that freaked him out. And this eye was at 25. And I guess... You know, I think it's supposed to be somewhere between 10 and 20. I meant to look that up before I did this video, but it was way bad. And he started freaking out and made an appointment for me <clears throat> for the next day, which was yesterday at a person that's a specialist in glaucoma. Um, you know, I read through everything and I wasn't thinking I had glaucoma. I'm not sure exactly what Dr. Cole was thinking. I think the main thing he wanted was just to reduce the pressure in my eye because I guess... At 40, bad things can happen really quickly. So the Dr. Cole, who's the guy that's been helping me so far, he got me an eye drop prescription that I went and got. And I took it Thursday night. And then Friday morning, I went to the uh, glaucoma specialist, uh, Dr. Briel, I think. I, f I forget his name. B Seth Briel, I think. I'm getting that wrong. But uh, he, you know, uh, redid the pressure test. And the good news was, was this eye that was 40 was down to 25. This eye that was 25 was up to 26. So pretty much the same. So this one came down, that one stayed the same. Uh, and he gave me another medicine, another eye drop that he said would reduce the pressure by, on the well, 5 to 10. 5 to 10, whatever. I don't even know what they measured this pressure in. But again, you want to be under 20, and I was at 25 and 26. So so that's that. It was kind of frustrating to me because, you know, I've been trying to get to the doctor, and they wouldn't take me, and, and then I get in there, and it's this emergency, which made me pretty uncomfortable. Um, I guess I feel a little bit better now that the glaucoma doctor – it's not saying I got glaucoma. He's just basically saying that – the thyroid eye disease causes your muscles and your fat tissue and your eye sockets to swell up. And that's causing my eyes to pop out and then causing the pressure to go up. So, um, so, oh, I guess the other thing I'll tell you is that, um, when I saw Dr. Cole, um, you know, my eyes hadn't felt good for a long time. And so he basically upped the preg the pregnancy zone prescription to 80 milligrams a day. So I'm taking 80 milligrams a day. The weird thing is, is that I started 80 milligrams a day about a month. No, sorry. I started, well, 40 milligrams about a month ago. And it felt good for one day. And then after that, it was just kind of back to the same. So now I've been on 80 milligrams of prednisone for two days. And I would say the first day it felt good. And then today it just, you know, my eyes just don't feel good at all. Not as bad as they did before I went to the doctor, but it's not like they feel that good. Um, so I'm a little worried right now that the pregnancy zone is 
not going to do a whole lot. The first time I took prednisone about a year ago, when this whole thing started, um, man, the prednisone did, was great. It was wonderful. It was like this miracle drug that just made my eyes stop watering, made them stop hurting, made me stop feeling the pressure. But dude, I'm at 80 milligrams now and it still doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel like it's really doing anything. So, all right. So moving forward, uh, you know, I'm going to take the prednisone. Hopefully it, it'll help. I don't know. Not a lot of confidence in that right now. Um, I go back to the glaucoma doctor in a month where he'll check my pressure and make sure everything's okay. Um, I will start working on getting the Depeza uh, approved by the insurance company. By the way, I don't think this is going to be easy um, for my insurance company anyway. I actually feel bad. I, I wasn't thinking this thing was going to reoccur, which was a stupid on my part. Um, I wasn't thinking I was going to need to take Tepeza again. I know that that was a possibility. I just really wasn't paying attention, I guess. And I, and I got the same insurance company that I've had all along, which is LifeWise. And they were pretty much, well, I'll say is pecker heads the first time around. I got halfway through the Tepeza treatment and they called up and started giving me all kinds of hell, telling me that they weren't going to let me take anymore. And, um, and I didn't obviously appreciate that. I didn't need the stress and, and, and. And I basically, at the end of the day, I just, I said, I'm not talking to you guys anymore. You just talk to my doctors. Um, and, and basically I never heard from them again. I, and I finished at the Peza, but if you read through LifeWise's thing on Tepeza, what it has in there is something that says that a second dose of Tepeza is investigational and, uh, you know, I didn't know what investigational means, but apparently it means that they're not going to cover it. Um, so, I mean, I don't know that for a fact, but when I, I, you know, I did a Google search on, you know, what does investigational mean with respect to insurance companies covering drugs and stuff like that. And basically that's what it says is that, the, that that's them saying that they don't aren't necessarily going to cover it. And given their behavior the first time around, I think they're going to be real pecker heads about this. And it's going to be a fight. And, you know, I am going to fight it. You know, uh, I know that Tepeza has some risks, especially with the hearing. But I went through Tepeza once and I was OK. And I'm hoping that that's a good sign that I'm going to be OK if I take it again. By the way, I don't know that for a fact. I would like to know that for a fact. And I will try to ask about that and see if I can figure that out. But I don't know if anyone's going to give me that data, um, you know, and what I mean is, is if how many times have people had hearing loss on their second round at Tepeza? Like what percent on the first round, what percent on the second round? And does it change? Does it go down? Because, you know, the first time around they didn't have problems. I don't know. I'd like to know that. So we'll see if we can get that information. Um, so anyway, I'm going to try to get the Tepeza. I expect it to be a fight. This time around, I have to get a hearing test before I take the Tepeza, which I, I, sh I knew I should have done that the first time, but the doctor didn't uh, call for it, so I didn't go get it. But this time, it's like mandatory that you got to get the hearing test done first. So I go to get the hearing test on Monday, two days from now, and then after I get that hearing test done, then I'll call up Cole's office and talk to the Horizon representatives, which I've, ta I've texted with so far. They, they are going to help me which I appreciate. They're very nice about that, the Horizon people, but obviously they're making a lot of money off of it too. So, I mean, that's why they're being nice that way. All right. And the other thing I'd tell you is this, is that um, uh, if you're Ted Warrior and you're going through this and you're watching these videos to see what you got coming, um, the one lesson I took out of this was that these last two weeks I should have raised more hell about getting into the doctor. I knew my eyes didn't feel good. I knew that they were more pressure than ever. And I just should have gone, I just should have drove down there and just camped out in the office and say, you got to see me. I mean, that's the kind of thing you got to do with the medical industry these days. It's just that I didn't know, you know, I didn't know that, um, that I was at risk. You know, and you really don't want to get the pressure going up in your eyes because what can it, it can actually like blow out your optic nerve 
and then you go blind in the eye, the one eye anyway. But you know, so if you if you get in the position where I'm at now, where your eyes are feeling really bad and you feel like they're getting worse quickly, you just got to go to the doctor and say you got to see me. All right. Anyway, I think that's it for today. Let's see. So, uh, well, if something happens on the front of getting the Tepeza approved, I'll make another video. If things go way worse, I'll make another video. If things go way better, I'll make another video. Otherwise, it'll be a month or so before um, before I go back into the gl glaucoma doctor. And probably after that, I'll say something if, if I haven't said something before then. All right? Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.